today on Rachel Ray. Make your 4th of July party sparkle. If you're neurotic, this is not for you, because it will never, ever be perfect. Just let it live its life. If you're looking for a few red, white, and blue treats to add a little festive touch to your fourth, well, we have just the man <laughs> with the plan for you. He's one of the top event planners in New York City. We just think he's delightful. We're kind of in awe of him. Thank you. He's back to show us how to have a very happy fourth of Jovely. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jove Myers with us. Hi, Ron. How are you? Summer. Jovly, happy Jovly. Yeah, you're lovely, so it's Jovly, and it's July, so you're Jovly too. Have a lovely Jovly. Jovly, perfect. Have a lovely Jovly. Where are we starting out? Well, summer is always hot, and when you're out well, with I all your love friends. Well, in New York, we don't really do hot. We still, have, <laughs> we still have little pockets of ice up on my oh, mountain. Got it. But, well, but it's hot other places. On your yes. mountain, you can freeze our first item here. So okay, what we're what making is, is super fun Swedish fish ice pops. Oh. So it looks like the fish is swimming it looks like in the, the water. the fish is in the lake. Absolutely. So what we're doing is Turn actually... Turn around this way so we can see the fish. You can see the little fish see swimming. The fish? Yeah. And we're going to make Hello. two kinds. Hello. Adult with alcohol. Oh, boozy yeah. fish in the lake. Boozy fish in the lake. So we're going to start. I'm going to put you to work. Okay. First step, you want to drop your fish in. One or two per box. And one for you or me. <laughs> Make sure they're good. Just to taste it. Yeah, and then we're gonna put two ounces of alcohol, if you so delight. You can do tequila, vodka. We're doing blue curacao, blue curacao. to give that water effect. You could do three ounces, four, depends. I was gonna say, dude, wouldn't it just be a lot easier to go like just this? Just pour it. Well, don't <laughs> fill it. <laughs> don't fill it. <laughs> These are not shots. These are not shots. We're gonna mix it with some punch. <laughs> So I'm gonna pour Joe, the- Joe, aren't we wasting a whole lot of Out. space? <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you finish uh, with, now there's space for some alcohol. Yeah, why don't we just fill it up with the rest okay. of the blue cures? All right. But we do wanna differentiate oh if there gosh. are children, yes. give them a pure different color. So a clean <laughs> lemonade with no liquor. Yes. Yeah. And then we're gonna wrap the top with foil. And the secret to getting your stick right in the middle and as straight as possible is to poke once and to poke decisively right in the middle so that you don't get those wonky sticks. <laughs> so you don't get those wonky <laughs> You'll know it's Rachel. I'm going down to the shop right, pick up my pops. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pour a, a glass of liquor and just stir the pop in there. <laughs> And that's going to be lazy racial way of doing this. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Totally another great option. Yay! You can do that. So there we go. Joe, it's really cute. <laughs> After you eat your boozy pop, or before, we're going to make a beautiful centerpiece out of lollipops. So Oops, super nope. easy, super edible. You can really do whatever you want. Red, white, and so blue. So is this floral foam? This is floral foam, which you can buy at any dollar store or any hardware store. Or and all a beautiful the craft stores, craft stores. Any craft yeah. store, yeah. And so you can get creative here. You can color block red, white, blue, or you can go crazy and just do red, white, and blue anywhere you want. Start from the bottom, start from the top. You know, you could do this while you're on a call with someone, a business call, a work call. You're just like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Sure yeah, that I sounds did. great. Yeah. I'll take 10 of those and six of those. <laughs> yeah, I'll buy that house. No if problem. If somebody that works for me is calling me on the 4th of July, guess what's happening on the 6th? <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> you don't mess with holidays. Um, and the good news about this is it's something you can do before the holiday. So it's not something you have to do on the 4th of July. You can do it in July 1st. Lollipops don't rot, right? They don't. This will last you for a long time, a year or two or three or five. Um, and we went ahead and did the small pops because, you know, it's summer, so we got a swimsuit season. Um, but you can do bigger ones, too. Yeah, you got to cut back on your lollipop ratio. <laughs> Come bikini season. Yeah, you never know. Mm. 
Um, so this is super fun, super easy. You can enlist your children. It's adorable. Yeah, the final product will be a little bit later it. as we go. I'm gonna keep going. It's kind of therapeutic, right? I, I kind of like this and I find it strangely calming. You so tell you do that, thing. I'll talk about s'mores. Okay. Who doesn't love a s'more? You think of summer, you think of a s'more. So the problem I find with s'mores is you go to the fire pit and everything is everywhere and you can't get it all together and it's usually dark. So we have these strawberry and then somebody baskets. somebody sits on the s'more that fell off <laughs> and then they have like marshmallow, marshmallow booty. Yeah. Oh. Marshmallow booty is real and it's not cute. So <laughs> to avoid marshmallow booty, you just get your strawberry or blueberry containers from the farmer's market or the grocery store yeah. and you pack it with all the ingredients you need. So if you love to do a triple s'more then, and for those of you who don't know, a triple s'more three graham crackers. You Dang. pack it with your graham crackers, toss a couple of your marshmallows in there, and then get your favorite chocolate bar. If you really love your guests, you can pre- break it for them, um, or if you want to portion, proportion everything. If your guests cannot handle snapping a chocolate bar, you got bigger issues. You don't know my friends, Rachel, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, and then we always recommend a fun, festive napkin, because one thing that always is guaranteed with s'mores is sticky fingers. So you gotta lick your fingers, and instead of the wipe on your white pan, oh, yeah. you have your napkin right in here, built in, ready to go anywhere you want. You wanna bring that with us? Yes. Yeah. Should we, should we carry you along? So I'm as we having move, a lot of fun with pops. I told you it's therapeutic. So another fun idea is a beautiful, easy centerpiece with colored sand. You can buy colored sand at any kid's store, craft store, um, dollar store. And basically we're gonna just have fun. We're gonna pour it in. You can use this beautiful funnel or you can get a little crazy. I love red, so we're gonna go heavy on the red. And you you have the best shirts, too. Even it You're out. an excellent shopper. Thank you. Well, I always want to dress up to impress you, Rachel. You always look very festive. Thank you. Pop a little white in there. And I don't know, I'm not a fan of super straight things, so I'm going to have it a little curved on this side. <laughs> Come I'm on gonna... now. It's for the Jove lie. You got to get a little Jove in there. So, um, and then you can decide if you want to pop your candle right in here. We went with an LED because that way in the wind, it won't blow away. If you have oh, children, a good idea. you don't have to worry and about if you have fire. Kids, right. Yep. And the fun part about this is you can be as abstract as you want. There's no wrong way to fill up your candle holder. That with is super red, cool. With white, really cool. with blue. If you're neurotic, this is not for you because it will never, <laughs> ever be perfect. So this is sort of where you can have a lot of fun. You can even mix some colors and just let it live its life. Are you gonna bring that I'm with coming. us? I'm coming, I'm almost there, go, almost go. Almost done, all right. <laughs> As we move on, another fun project you can do in advance is a wreath. And so essentially our final product is a clothespin 4th of July flag wreath. You can buy the frame at any craft store, any garden store. You'll buy these in a natural wood color and you can spray paint them in bulk. This is about a hundred of them. So when you're spray painting, you definitely want to put down um, a blue tarp or you want to put down um, newspaper and it's always bigger than you think because spray will spread. So here we go, red, white, and blue. We're gonna do red and white all the way around like the stripes of the flag. I'll give you some. Dude, you showed me this already. <laughs> So you're done for the day. <laughs> and I did a lovely. You've been working look. really hard. Lady Liberty, right here. Lady Liberty. Do you wanna? I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this for you then, since we already <laughs> did it. The last tip here is to cut out some stars. Use double-sided tape and add the stars to the there section you go. of the flag. Yes, yeah, so it's super easy. And here we wanted to show you everything in action. So we have our beautiful s'more kit. We have our lovely sand candle art. We have, I think yours is better. So why don't we plop yours right in the middle there. I made the table. <laughs> there we go. And because it's the 4th of Jove lie, we're just gonna light a little sparkler. 4th of Jove lie. Yes, why not, right? If it ever lights. But imagine you have a popsicle while you wait. This is tequila. I'm gonna set that on fire. This
Tom Joe, we love you. Love you too. Coming up next, oh, one of our favorite vets ever. He's gonna tell us how to keep our pets safe for the summer. So important.